Flashback Friday, January 5, question 1. To prove something using cos cubed theta, we need to consider z plus 1 over z cubed, where z is equal to e to the i theta. First point is to say that in that case 1 over z is equal to e to the minus i theta. And z plus 1 over z is therefore going to be 2 cos theta. And z plus 1 over z cubed is going to be 8 cos cubed theta. But the next stage is to work out z plus 1 over z cubed by another method. Namely, it's binomial expansion. z cubed plus 3 times z squared times 1 over z plus 3z times 1 over z squared plus 1 over z cubed. So that's going to be z cubed plus 1 over z cubed plus 3z plus 1 over z. Now z cubed is cos theta plus i sine theta cubed, which according to de Moivre's theorem is cos 3 theta plus i sine 3 theta. And similarly, 1 over z cubed is cos 3 theta minus i sine 3 theta. So z cubed plus 1 over z cubed is going to be 2 cos 3 theta. If we go back to the binomial ex complete binomial expansion, that means that z cubed plus 1 over z cubed plus 3z plus 1 over z is equal to 2 cos 3 theta plus 3 cos theta. And if we compare that with the other way of working out, z cubed is also equal to 8 cos cubed theta. The result we're supposed to prove is that cos cubed theta is equal to a quarter cos 3 theta plus 3 eighths cos theta. And we can... Sorry, I've made a mistake. This should be z plus 1 over z is 6 cos theta, which means this is 3 quarters, and that's the result we're supposed to prove.